Hey, now here we are looking at the Lensgo 318C. Looks like version 2, perhaps. 2.4 gigahertz. Dual clip on wireless lavalier microphone for DSLR, SLR, camera, camcorder, iPhone, Android. Rechargeable lapel mic for video recording, interview, TikTok, YouTube, live streaming, minus B. No idea what minus B is supposed to mean, but it's, it's there on the uh, description page, so whatever it is. I'm going to uh, basically introduce you to this microphone uh, firstly by showing you what it comes with and then secondly by what it sounds like. This is not what this microphone sounds like. Um, one, I'm looking into the camera and then over here I've got my professional uh, microphone that I'm talking in over here. So you're going to hear a few different kinds of audio <clears throat> Excuse me, going on there. So again, mobile phone, professional microphone, and then later you'll hear what uh, the lavalier microphone sounds like. I'm just going to show you basically what it looks like. Here is the uh, receiver uh, slash charger. And this is microphone number one and microphone number two. Or this could be number one and this could be number two. Oh, you never know. Um, but <clears throat> as it stands, this green light, I believe, I haven't totally looked on here, but I think this has to do with the fact that it is charged. It's fully charged and it is charging these two here and if uh the reason this one is blinking blue this one should be blinking blue oh once you put them together they just go into charging mode so i can take this mic off and start it up by pressing the button and then you get a solid you get a blue if you can see it on there blue light on the microphone as well as uh, a solid blue on here this one's blinking because this mic's not being used and it won't be used because um, we're going to plug our 3.5 millimeter uh, 90 degree angle jack specifically on this cord because you get two of them you get two cables uh, with uh, 3.5 millimeter jacks uh, you get one with a straight cord with, a, with one end that's straight and the other end that's 90 degree angle. Uh, the straight end on here has three rings, and this one only has two rings, black rings, three rings, uh, three black rings, two black rings. Uh, and the difference is that you've got another one over here with the um, a coiled cable, which I think is nicer, and I don't know why they couldn't just give us two different colors in order to make this work properly. But anyway, both of these uh, have only two rings on them and this is specifically for going into your uh, DSLR camera. If you're going to use your mobile phone you've got to use this one or it's just not going to work because you have to have this uh, straight three ring plugged into uh, your uh, mobile phone uh, and this will go into the device on this side on the right side of it looking at the front so that one gets plugged into there, and then we will plug it into uh, the mobile phone. But I'm not going to do it directly because it does weird stuff if you do it while it's playing. So i got to turn it off and turn it back on real quick. All right, BRB. Okay, so I've got the microphone hooked up over here. Before, uh, you might have seen that it was uh, over here on the side, or was it over here? Anyway, it was way up over here, and I looked at the... Uh, um, instructions and it says that it wants the microphone to be here which is fine I can do that hold on just a second just don't want to make a big noise or anything a moment so I don't know if I showed you or not but uh, you can see that this is a magnetic clip and it's a standalone with the mic being here so get it into the general vicinity. Ooh, sorry about that. Man, that's got to be loud. <clears throat> what I learned is that you always want to make sure that you've got this end with the light pointed towards your face. And that way, if you happen to look down and you say, plosive, plosive, I've got a plosive. It's not too bad. It's, it's really not too bad at all. If you turn it this way, though, with the light down and you go plosives, plosives, so you get, the, oh man, so bad. So make sure the light, make sure the blue light is aimed at your face. 
and you'll have a pretty decent sound. This is in the front, um, you know, it's just below my chin, my chinny chin chin. And I suppose you could get it just a little closer, and that wouldn't be too bad either. But this is directly in the middle, and so if I turn my head a little bit here or a little bit here, it's not too bad uh, as far as the sound being this way. All right, this is just going to be a uh, quick sample of sound uh, audio quality showing what the lavalier microphone sounds like and what the pro mic sounds like compared. It's a little poem, a little song called Pressed Rat and Warthog with lyrics by Ginger Baker and I don't know who it is, M. Taylor. Pressed Rat and Warthog have closed down their shop. They didn't want to, t'was all they had got. Selling atonal apples, amplified heat, and Pressed Rat's collection of dog legs and feet. Sadly they left, telling no one goodbye. Pressed Rat wore red jodhpurs, Warthog a striped tie. Between them they carried a three-legged sack, went straight round the corner, and never came back. Pressed Rat and Warthog have closed down their shop. The bad Captain Madman had told them to stop selling atonal apples, amplified heat, and Pressed Rat's collection of dog legs and feet. The bad Captain Madman had ordered their fate. He laughed and stomped off with a nautical gait. The gait turned into a derogatory, and his peg leg got woodworm and broke into three. Pressed Rat and Warthog have closed down their shop. They didn't want to, t'was all they had got. Selling atonal apples, amplified heat, and Pressed Rat's collection of dog legs and feet. Thank you. So as you can see, or rather hear, um, the sound of the lavalier mic is a bit muffled and muddy, even when it's placed in exactly the sort of spot that the directions require or ask for. It sounds even worse if you put it even on either side of your lapel or collar, so you don't want to do that. Keep it right there in the middle, and you'll get the best sound that you're going to get from this. So in my opinion, I really think they should have spent a bit more time creating a better sounding microphone because it's really a cool device. It's just great that you got the um, the receiver, the RX, that acts as a charging port for the, the uh, transmitters, the TX slash microphones, and you got two of them and they're magnetic and you can just place the clip and then put the micro... It's just a really neat kit. It's just too bad that the microphones themselves sound so muddy. It's below $100. It's below $90 right now, $89. So my suggestion to the company is create a better microphone and charge us 150 bucks for it. It would be so worth it. I guess you're trying to get something under the $100 mark because people will buy it. They'll, oh, gee, I don't mind spending 100 bucks or below $100, but I don't want to spend 150 For such a great product that you've got, why waste time even selling it to people who don't really care about sound quality as much as they ought to? I mean, you can use it if you want to for your uh, demo videos or something like that, but as time goes on and you start getting a following, you're going to care about what your audio sounds like, and you should care just from the beginning. Don't even deceive yourself into thinking that it's okay to have poor-sounding audio. Get the best-sounding microphone that you can, that you can afford. Uh, so if you're looking for something that's going to sound good, um, I would suggest not so much using this. If you want to just use a really cool set to goof around with, okay, this might be the set for you. That's my thoughts on this. Thanks.